I told you you could bake a frittata and have it come out this cleanly. Wait, what? That's a non-stick skillet. And now I'm going to grab my dish towel and give it a little wipe out. Wipe out! And look at that. This is cast iron, full scale cast iron, all the benefits of cast iron, but with a 2022 twist. It's non stick. That means I can bake in this, I can go into the dishwasher with this. Whatever the case may be, you're going to get four great recipes from Iron Chef, or as I like to call him, Cast Iron Chef, Jeffrey Zakarian. And you're going to be able to choose three sizes. Let's first look at the blue in terms of the sizes. Now I have this in a 12 inch, in a 10 inch, and in the 8 inch. I have every color available in every size. So you can do the Zakarian blue in 8, 10, or 12. You can do the black in 8, 10, or 12. The green in 8, 10, or 12. The gray in 8, 10, or 12. And finally, the cranberry in 8 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. The 12 inch does have that helper handle. These are a nice depth as well. They can go under your broiler. My gracious, they can go on the barbecue grill. They can go over a campfire. And you'll never hear me, never, ever, ever have to season this pan. I remember growing up, my grandma had a pan that she would put lard in. She would melt the lard in the cast iron and put it in a 200 degree oven and leave it there for hours. I smell that to this day. I can still smell it. And you're never going to do that with these pans because they don't need any seasoning. Cast Iron Chef Jeffrey Zakarian joining us now via Skype. And Chef, this is always such an exciting item. The first item you ever showed me when we first met at the Inspired Home Show in Chicago. Well, let me hold up this seven and a half pound. There it is. Cast iron. It's cast iron. It doesn't stick, doesn't need seasoning. You can put water, gravy, acid, vinegar, meatballs, tomato, whatever you want. And you can do lots of fun stuff with that. I'm making a little flambe steak here, David, just to start my day off. Because I love starting my day with um, a little steak and red wine sauce. So again, we're going to show you, like, this is a simple sauce that I've made here. I've cooked the steak. I've rested it. And then a little butter, some red wine, some uh, shallots. And it's just all going to work its way down. And that's a beautiful gravy in this cast time. Remember. This is old technology and the newest of tech technology with the cast iron because, David, as you know, nothing's better than cast iron. It cooks even in all chefs like in my kitchen. This is what I do. And so just take a look at it right here. You have a fantastic oven safe, easy cleanup, revolutionary, perfect sear, retains the heat. The food just skates on the pan. Non-stick coating ensures that wipeout is a breeze. And I'm going to show you just how gorgeous this sauce became. David, I wish you were here. Oh, it I looks amazing, Chef. Are you this. kidding? Now, did you deglaze with red wine there? Is that what that was? A little red wine, just a bit of red wine, oh. right? And I'm just, you know, oh. oh, oh. Now, Come the first thing Chef ball, ever baby. prepared for me when we met at the Inspired Home ball. Show in Chicago was a ribeye. And he made it in this skillet. One thing we didn't have was that sauce. I would love that sauce. Oh, my word. Oh. And now over here, I know it's out of order, but I have uh, your second favorite thing, some steak, uh, some eggs, bacon cooked oh, at the same time. Yes, please. And then I'm going to show you what you showed me just a second. This is wiping out real easy. And we're going to cook whatever we want. In this case, I'm going to have just a little bit of that bacon fat in there. And I'm going to start me some nice, gorgeous shrimp on the barbie, as mm. they say, but indoor barbie. Oh, it sounds delightful. And Chef, you know, you, you raised a good point earlier. We made a beautiful bolognese inside this skillet. You know, there was a time when you could never do something acidic like tomato sauce in a cast right. iron because it just didn't behave properly. It didn't react well, well with all... the cast iron. But now that it's non-stick, we don't have to worry about that, do we? No, there's no rules. Throw away the rules. And you know, your grandmother's rules, the person that used to take this cast iron every day, bury it in paper towel, hide it, <laughs> you're not going to have to do that. So you can go, I keep these out on my oven. I have a set of three, and I try all the colors, and I, they just stay there. They live there. First, they look beautiful. Second, you can pass them down. And people who have these, call me up. I have chefs that I sent a bunch of these to right before we debuted two years ago. And they were, they like very few of these chefs have time to like call. They take me and call me, and they say, you know, this is a beautiful pan. I get a lot of equipment in the mail from uh, manufacturers, but this one really meets the needs of a chef. 
And so imagine what it can do for you, David. Oh, my word. And, you know, Chef, I don't know if you have seen these, but I am uh, a YouTube watcher, and I have been recently watching these hot tent camping videos where they go in the middle of the wilderness where it's freezing cold and snowing. They pitch a tent, and they build a little stove inside, and they cook in cast iron. I watched yes. last night, and the, and the dude was cooking. Uh, he was frying french fries in a cast iron skillet on top of a little hot box stove inside of his tent in the middle of a blizzard, which I thought was fantastic. So, um, well, you take, you can take it with you. You can take it anywhere, and like you said, any kind of heat. So whether you have induction, glass, stove, electric, ceramic, what else is there? Campfire, caveman, trailer. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this will cook. And the great thing, David, is it will cook evenly. It will it's cast indeed. Iron and it, it's distributed, and that's the magic of cast iron. And then all you need is this to clean up, and that's it. Okay, so let's review colors and sizes. Now I've got this in a 10, uh, an 8, a 10, and a 12 inch skillet. So you may choose 8, 10, or 12 in any color. We have all sizes and all colors. The first color up top is the carrion blue. I also have it in the black. I have it in the green. There's the gray. And finally, I have it for you in the cranberry. All of these are nonstick. So you're also going to get um, four of Chef's recipe cards in this pack up. So you're going to get skillet s'mores, gluten free New England crab cakes, there's an herb roasted Delmonico with caramelized shallots, and buttermilk fried chicken. Now, one of those you're making in there is this beautiful s'more dip with graham crackers and marshmallows and chocolate. Oh, so fantastic. So don't miss out on this. We're getting very busy on our phone lines. Everybody is looking to do their baking inside here. We've got cinnamon rolls, and Chef always loves to talk about making it rain. We put the icing right on top of the cinnamon rolls. And we did a spatchcock chicken as well. This is a versatile pan, and you'll use it every single day. Cleanup will be so easy. Um, GZ, we're going to have you back a little later in the show with another great item, okay? Yeah, look at them. I want to finish up this scampi. Remember, these are the eggs. And bacon to scampi, and then you like rain. So how about chocolate rain? We haven't had chocolate rain in a while. Look at this. cooked in my eight-inch cast iron cookie. Mm. Look at that. Woo! It's a David-sized cookie. Mm. Thank you, Chef. And We're looking forward to having you back, and you're the lucky one. You get to eat that cookie. All right, fantastic. Lunch. Thanks, David. All right, pal. We'll see you soon. Let's check in with Mary, who's got some updates for you. Hey, um, I've been having a great time on TikTok, and I know some of you already follow me there, follow QBC there, but do you follow Brunch with Bad?